Hello everybody, what's up? I've been looking through my comments and I'm going to do this is a video addressing comments four, but it's not going to be addressing comments four, it's going to be addressing comments three point five. Um just because I haven't actually uh I haven't actually gone through and looked at all my videos to see if all they're all negative, but I've been looking through my video and I got a comment to my Response to SX Phil's video of slavery and equals abortion. And <coughs> for whatever reason, I got a lot of comments that are like right wing dudes or something. It's weird. I mean, I've gotten, um, it's weird. I mean, like one person, Cobra Bag. I don't care if I have a penis or not. I'm not going to let a woman kill a baby. And if it's not a woman's body issue, it's a baby life issue. And I commented back, except that it is a woman's body issue, since the mother is a sentient person and you created him. And I have a question, would you let have the child suffer or would you rather not have suffered? And then I clarified this bit, and by the last part I meant, if you knew the child was going to suffer, would you still not abort, let it suffer, and not have it suffer at all? And that is an allusion to a video by the Amazing Atheist, where he talks about a story. <coughs> And you can go find it, it's uh, Owned Pro-Lifers Part 2, where he makes the argument that abortion is really the only humane thing to do if he, he says that there are a lot of children who are, aren't loved anyway, if you're going to bring in a child to this world with so many already uncared for, you are an asshole because you're just going to bring another child who you're not going to love into the world. You're just going to throw them to the wayside. And I'm not making the point good enough, but I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm make a better point tomorrow because I'm just really tired today because it's 2 o'clock on uh, May 5th. And I just wanted to do a video. <coughs> oh, and uh, happy single to my. And there's also. Uh, Someone actually today comment, uh, Daniel Allen Stanton, uh, it's murder, end of discussion. And that's the thing, man. Like, it's, it's not the end of, just the end of the discussion. It's never the end of the discussion if you use such idiotic, such a stupid statement. It's not murder, and even if it is murder, a lot of the things that you need to do is murder, which I commented. Uh, I mean, if you wash your hands, they're killing bacteria. If you're a woman and you've had more than one period, you're a mass murderer. Because all those eggs are dying. If you're a man who jacked off, jacks off a lot, you're killing millions of sperm. If you're a meat eater, you're killing animals. If you're a vegetarian, you're killing plants by eating them. So with the pro-life movement, I don't get where you draw the line. What's murder and what isn't murder? And life isn't sacred, to quote George Trump. It's not sacred. Uh, and to quote him more, it's a self-serving idea because we're living in one. We're the people who think that life is sacred. <coughs> um, it's so bad, but I've gotten good comments like uh, thank you I never understood why men should have any say unless he's the father of course love your opinion <laughs> if you don't care about abortion or slavery then why did you do this video it's like atheists who don't believe there's a gap then you might tell a comment about the look of this man is so kind of causing the word brother well the first the first reason that atheists talk about religion in videos <coughs> is because like the amazing atheist and um I can't think of anybody else underfoot. Um, the reason those people, and the reason I talk about religion in videos, uh, is because most of our problems are deep rooted in the um, societal imbalance created by religion. So the, the problems are rooted in religion, so you have to talk about religion to get them into the air. Um, it's funny, uh, someone actually says, fuck you, saucy, saucy, whatever. Uh, oh, no, 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 someone actually says, uh, there's a comment where I think I did, I removed one comment, but, 
uh, someone actually said uh, this is the one who with a video on his channel in which he records himself trying to look like some kind of anime character and does a shit job of editing. Pretty nerdy thing to do, in my opinion. Also, he says he's pro abortion, learn to listen, and that is uh, in response to a comment, if I remember, where someone's like, oh, you, you didn't even answer the question, you're a fucking nerd, and stuff like that. And I like how people actually come to my defense when, I, when people say that. <clears throat> Uh, uh, it's so dumb, but it, I'm so happy that I had so many people coming to my defense and kind of explaining things and things like that. And I've also had people who are just plain belligerent in their comments. Um, it's funny as hell. Uh, it, it's funny. It's just like really funny because of, like the whole origin of the swine flu thing. And I was going to do a video about that earlier, but you know, now I'm going to do it. Where people are getting all up in arms about me doing a video in response to SX Phil's video Orange of the Swine Flu found. I think it's SX Phil's video. Uh, yeah, it's SX Phil's video. Uh, and I, I, I was supposed to be a very funny piece, and people got the wrong idea. And it's pretty hard. Someone actually put, "You really have no idea of what you're talking about, and you shouldn't be posting videos like this in a time where only important informational things should be posted with the tag swine flu." And I responded, "People really are going to YouTube as their first source of information about swine flu. Then those people are fucking sad." <coughs> um. And I posted that and I said, I agree with Tampa Storm. There's no point in the video, and you absolutely know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's way too many fucks in your video, way too many. There's never enough fucks in a video. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um. I, I, of course, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't care. Fuck you. Haha. Uh -huh. But honestly, it doesn't matter. People don't come to YouTube for their information on swine flu. They go to the World Health Organization site or the CDC site. They don't go to YouTube. YouTube is an entertainment site, and I'm trying to bring some levity to a fucking situation that is really bad. So fuck you, people who overreact. <coughs> people were saying, I would start to wonder if alcohol was included in this video. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't drink. And then, um, since when drunkies? Since when drunkies watch news? Which is such a disjointed fucking comment. It doesn't even dare to be repeated. But um, then there's someone who says, "You fucks me, you get a clue." Very articulate. It's just really funny how people, many people hate on me. Um, I gotta give props. The whole don't offend, veg don't be offended vegetarian video. I honestly wasn't trying to offend anybody. I wasn't saying anything derogatory. I was just, it's a funny way to look at it. It's not like I agree with it all wholeheartedly. It's just a funny way to look at the vegetarian versus meat eater if you're a fucking. If you're an environmentalist and you're a <coughs> uh, plant eater. Vegetarian. It's just a funny way to look at it. I don't agree with it. It's just a funny thing to look at. <coughs> um, and I said in the video, I didn't mean any disrespect. For fuck's sake. Not to be fuck, 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 fuck. <coughs> but honestly, I didn't mean any offense to anybody for that video either. The whole vegetarian, don't be offended, meant to be, don't be offended. Didn't mean anything by it. I think I've rambled on long enough, so I'm going to call this video addressing comments for the last hope. But I got to say peace, love, harmony, and I'm off like a prom dress. See you guys later.